<laughs> Susan Page is USA Today's Washington Bureau Chief. This is her 10th inauguration, and the new administration will be the sixth one that she has covered. And you have a great front page piece here, Susan, and you write, never has a new president needed a spectacular inaugural address more than Donald Trump does. Why? Well, he's addressing a very divided nation. Now, traditionally during transitions, the nation comes together, there's some goodwill. You look at that beautiful capital behind us and you think, this is a, a wonderful, mm -hmm. trans, peaceful transfer of power. But he has, in fact, lost ground with the American people since Election Day. Right. His approval ratings now are lower than the percentage of the vote he got on November 8th. So he has some ground to make up. This, this speech today with the biggest audience he's ever had is one way to start. You, you know, suggested when you're that he ought to listen to the Nixon speech in 1969 uh, because Nixon in that speech came to a troubled nation and said, we can't, we have to start listening to each other, which we can't do as long as we're shouting at each other. You know, people don't remember this because, of course, Nixon got into so much trouble after his first inaugural address. But that was a time where we had political assassination, we had riots in the streets, the turmoil of the civil rights movement. He won uh, not with a majority of the popular vote. Um, and he came in and actually bought himself some goodwill with a very graceful inaugural address that first time around, where he seemed to be really reaching out to the people who had not voted for him. And that is something we have not seen Donald Trump do in an effective way since the speech he gave on election yeah. night. But in the months since, it's been pretty much a continuation of campaign rhetoric. You know, when you're a little kid and you're standing up to bullies, you say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And this is really an example of why words truly matter today. And his team keeps saying he's going to say the right thing. He's going to unify the country. And the approval ratings are at an all-time low. Why does that matter today? You, you know, it matters because there are only a few times when people are willing to uh, open their hearts and minds to somebody they didn't support. And that comes after national disasters like 9-11 like or the Oklahoma City shootings. And it comes at this moment of inauguration. You know, governing is by its nature divisive, as is campaigning. But there are a few moments when people are willing to, to give you a chance to cut your break. This is one of those moments. Right. Thank you very much, Susan Thank Page. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Great Susan. To have you. Great.